Murray Cotton brand that manufactures in the Murray space. There are two others, AI and Intertech. So we have three brands here that all manufacture in the Murray space. Two of those brands talk to each other right now. The brand of Aqua Illumination and Ecotech Marine. How do they do that? They do that through an app called Movies. Okay? This is an app that connects those two products together, allows for so zero. So the question becomes how do we get AI and Ecotech, those brands, to talk with Neptune systems? Right? How do we allow that to happen? Okay? How do we get that communication place to happen? So we think really hard about that. So how do AI and Ecotech communicate? They communicate through Mobius. How do we get Neptune to communicate to AI and Ecotech? Well, we just simply get that communication that happens between AI and Ecotech, AI and Ecotech and Mobius to also communicate with Neptune systems, right? How do we make that happen? We make that happen with a model. We call the Mobius Wireless Line, the MXN. What do you see on this on this uh, screen here? You see a Neptune system module. That's for sure. Right? But then you also see the Mobius logo. You see the Ecotech logo. You see the Aqua Illuminations logo. There. So this is the module that will bring all of those brands to communicate together and with each other. Right? It will allow that interoperability. So when you're controlling your pumps and your lights, right, and you can't control those through fusion, that's a thing of the past. In the future, you'll be able to do that. How exactly will that happen? Well, you'll have the MXM module. That will communicate with Mobius. You then group up your lights and your pumps onto that MXM module, and you just say, you know, I want to transfer that control over to my Neptune. I want the Neptune to control it, all right? And then, boom, Neptune controls it. Now, those lights and pumps are connected to the MXM module. That MXM module is connected to your Apex Fusion Apex. It's done. You can now use your Apex to control what? It can control all of the different pumps. So that includes your Vortex, your Vectras, never before controlled by the apex of Vectra, never before controlled by the apex of Nero Pump. You'll be able to control all of those in the apex fusion interface just like you would control a wave, just like you would control a core, right? It's something that you already know how it works. It's going to work the exact same way, maybe with some more features, maybe with a little bit less features, but the main control ability will be there. For all of your pumps. Who here here uses Ecotech or AI lighting? Great lights. Great lights. I know I talk a lot about the sky. That does not diminish what great lights those are as well. So those will also work with the, um, with the uh, uh, MXM models. We got radians, we got hybrids, and we got primes that will all connect to the MXM, communicate with the MXM, and allow it to be controlled through your Apex. Right? So, is anything going to change with your Neptune gear? No, nothing is changing in the way that your Neptune gear communicates. If you want to use your Neptune gear and you don't want to use those other companies' great products, that's fine. Your sky is going to work the same way. Your pump, your wave is going to work the same way. Right? Those things are not changing. Right? So, we have taken this. The Trident released in 2019. You guys said, you know what, bro? I'm just not going to tell people anymore when things are coming out. You know, like, we just don't want to do that. We released it. We told everyone about the Trident in 2017. <sighs> two and a half, what was it? A year and a half, two and a half years later, the Trident comes out. There were speed bumps that we did not anticipate, right? With this, though, I can say that you must be patient for good things to come, okay? must learn patience. But I will say that we have teamed up with Santa and Zelda this year. Okay? The entire team of Neptune Systems is working on this product, helping bring this product to our customers in conjunction with Santa and 
themselves so you can properly get to when you will likely see this buy. Okay? So it's an upcoming product, something you will see very soon. Can I get a movie on? Can I get a movie on? Yes. So, control of your AI and the tech products will be coming to Neptune Systems, Apex Fusion, in a very short matter of time. We'll still need to be patient for that. Right? Things just don't materialize because you don't want them as much as I would like them. But, you know, that's not the way the world works. So, in a short matter of time, you will be able to control any of our brand's products together, all in your Apex. You know what? If you like the other way you can control it, you can continue to do that. Okay? Nothing is going to change in that aspect. But, we want to give you more options. Let me use the word again. Right? So that's part of the great new products that are coming from Neptune Systems. Who's excited about that? <laughs> all the more that you pay to be able to control all of the brand's products from one place. Very nice. Mm -hmm. So, we're kind of at the end. You know what happens at the end? So I just want to open up the floor. I may not answer your question, which I don't want to. Don't take it personally. But I'd be happy to answer questions. Should you have? Winner prizes are coming. Okay. More more questions. Yeah. Hmm? That's a great question. So so what he's asking is, so these brands are companies. You got Ecotech who makes the radio. You got AI who makes the hydro. You got Neptune Systems who makes the sky. What happens? All three brands are making lights. That seems kind of weird. What happens? Things may happen. Things may change in the future. But right now, I feel that each of those lights appeal to me, has a different strength, right? And it's all providing to it's a very personal choice, right? It's how you want your tank to look. How do I like my tank to look? I like a very crisp, I like a very even spectrum. I don't need a lot of shimmer. I find it distracting. There's a lot of glitter lines and things like that. The sky is my preference, right? Um, I like to be able to control my apex. That was one of the reasons for a long time. That's kind of go away. But what about the radio? Well, I like the premium light that gives great spectrum. I like the light that has a little bit of shimmer. Right? Thank it's just the right level of shimmer if I want it. Or I have an AI that you know, has an industrial feel and has the right price point and it gives really great shimmer lines. You know? So each light has a different strength, right? And it's what your personal opinions and preferences in life all of them are always exceptional. That's the best part. Any other questions? Great one. Thank you. Yes. It makes sense, huh? Yeah. That's a great question. So he's asking how we're communicating, right? Is it going to communicate over a wireless network? Is it going to communicate over Bluetooth? Is it going to communicate over Bluetooth? Is it going to be over Bluetooth? You know, I'm going to leave that more to an engineering question. Kirk, what would you want to say that it's communicating over? Is Kirk still in here? Oh, what you say? So it's, it's a Bluetooth version of safety, right? It allows them to communicate that network and meshes together. What would you say? More like More WSM. More WSM. Okay. Anything coming up that I, uh, you know, like RO monitoring, TDS monitoring, for Neptune system policies, I cannot comment on uh, announced product support and development, but, you know, I love that you're asking about products that I think have a great fit. Any other questions? Both of them. Yeah. Yeah. Bring them on. I turned my mom in. That is a great thing that I've 
totally meant to bring up in my present, but I didn't think of it. So how does the LLS work? All right. So the LLS is really just an amazing piece of uh, technology. It is so cool. All right. So imagine just the two. So we use the concept of paper and that's how we I'm going to use a more, a more apt comparison. It's two thin sheets of metal. Okay, those two thin sheets of metal are side by side. Okay, there is essentially one strip, one kind of strip that measures a zero point, and it's in between the two of them. And there's one point that measures basically, basically another signal as they are pressed together. As water enters into that column, what happens? Those two pieces come together. Okay, as that as that compression happens, that that top point of compression where your water level is is essentially how it measures the height it's very cool when water level goes away those two pieces start to separate okay so how is there moving parts in it i guess you could say like a less than a tenth of a millimeter that they compress together it's a moving part but what we have seen so far is that these have a very long life right how long it is relatively new in terms of technology, but we've had people in this room for many three years at this point with a lot of continued success. So, uh, but um, in terms of algae growth and things like that, as of yet, you know, we've had, in our NSI, we've had that for almost 11 months, eight or 11 months, so that things like that. No real major issues in the cleaning of these or anything like that, algae growth inside of them. It just didn't happen because for a variety of reasons. Would I put in my refugium center a cell right underneath my refugium light? It's probably not the best place to work. But, you know, to be sure. All right. Other questions? Yes. It's more than 